We're back at the uh, Masonic building where we started, left the car in the yard here, and we're back and we're talking to, i got to remember now, David Adams. Is that correct? You just met your mom and dad? <laughs> oh, and I met a lot of people that were related to each other. Um, this morning when we were talking, someone mentioned uh, the buildings were the loyalists in the buildings. And tell us a little bit about loyalists. Some people out there, and including me, are not very familiar with the expression loyalist. Okay. Um, well, when you had your American Revolution, that's uh, 1776, uh, you had a bunch of people who wanted to remain loyal to the king. And those people were offered land after they had the revolution up here in Canada because we were still governed by England. And all the people from the states that wanted to remain loyal to the king were granted land. They came up here and they started farming communities. And like the people in the hall today, you have the Adamses, you mm -hmm. have the Derricks. Uh, they all came up as loyalists. And the Derricks actually were German, but the English had hired them as mercenaries during the Revolutionary War mm -hmm. to fight the Americans. Okay, now when you say they came up, when they, were they in Canada and they went to the States? No, or? they were all in there the... There was no... Well, our family was in Massachusetts. Okay. And the Derricks were down there too. Uh-huh. And uh, when the America did succeed, mm -hmm. uh, these people were offered land by mm -hmm. the King of England, mm -hmm. and they were came to Canada. So Clarenceville has a lot of loyalists. Most of the most Eng of them were English, English were loyalists. loyalists. Were loyalists. Okay, and uh, 200 years later, they still refer to you as loyalists. That's right. All right. So it's kind of neat. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, listen, you've had a great celebration. We want to stop over to the petting area. Okay. We, want, we don't want to miss anything. We, we appreciate your cordiality very, very much. Well, I appreciate it. It was, it was a pleasure to be here. We're so glad that Ken Meany mentioned it to Calvin. And uh, hope the people up here, you get a copy of the table, enjoy seeing themselves and the whole community <laughs> here on, on TV. And, and good luck in the next year. And if you're on next year, let us know. And maybe we could come up and do a pre-show and say what you're going to have and kind of promote it down below. and find out why people should come up and see it. That's fantastic. Okay. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Right. A lot. We've moved just out of town to the east, about a mile and a half to two miles, and we're on a side dirt road, and they tell us that this is where the much of the movie was shot as the residence, right here, uh, for the Dion picture that was done in the summer of 1993. It was called The Million Dollar Babies. It was shown in November 1994 on CBS. It was a two-night miniseries. And one of the reasons why we're bringing this out in addition to being in Clarenceville, I called Dr. John Southwick last night because I knew he had uh, some of his cars up here for the period of 1932 to 35. They were looking for cars of that vintage. And uh, I wanted to get, get permission. He said, yes, no problem at all. And he was up here and he had uh, four other drivers and they brought six cars up here for a Friday and a Saturday for the showings and uh, his, one of his cars was being filled up with gas at, in the beginning of the second uh, night of the miniseries. Uh, John also told me that uh, they paid them a hundred and twenty dollars a day for car and driver for each car he had up here. And obviously he didn't do it for the money. There's no money involved. But it was just the honor of having his cars. He had his Woody up here. He also had his 1927 Cadillac that we made a big thing with when we were at his place uh, about five years ago. And then he had four other cars running from 1928 to 32, all Fords. And they were in and around the community here. And uh, if any of you recorded that, you might look at it again. And it was, most of it was done up here in Clarenceville. And that's why we're stopping in front of this building. I'm going to review my copy. And uh, it's just another little thing. We're right in the backyard. They're going to make another movie here within the next year, we were told today. That'll be uh, settled right down here. Nice and quiet. Nice operation. Nice people. And we want to thank all you people out there from uh, who may see this from Clarenceville and vicinity. who are very good to Calvin and I. We felt like we were coming home for the, for the day. And I had a great time here. And the apple pie was great. We've moved over to the recreational field. Uh, we just left Ro Wolf Ridge 
where we saw the home that was used for the, the Dion movie. And we're at the recreation field. There's a softball tournament going on. Uh, sound like a German band playing. People sitting around here under the, t under the trees having lots of fun. And we're in Clarenceville. And then uh, they, they have some uh, jumping thing for the children over behind. Three or four rides. And it's a petting zoo. And a uh, few of the locals have gathered here. Seem to be having a good time. When they talk about the petting zoo, here it is. We've got a burro, we've got a llama, and we've got some uh, goats, and we get some rabbits. They got a what? A, a little, a little, yeah, a shepherd, yeah, and a little Shetland pony. Yes. Huh? The lady, the shepherd. You going to talk to us and tell us what this is all about for our home, for our program we're doing on Clarenceville TV for Northern New York. Hi. Hi. All right. This is hometown cable from Rouses Point, Champlain area. Your name? I'm Wanda Donovan. And where are you from, Wanda? I'm from Clarenceville. And you, these are all your animals? Those are my babies. How many have you got? Uh, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, ten baby bunnies. Yeah. There's two giant Koshin roosters, and these are pygmy goats. Uh-huh. And that's the miniature Sicilian donkey. Right. Her name is Emmy. She's five years old. And that's Snickers. That's the llama. Your okay. llama, right. And your little pony. Yeah, that's Gidget. Okay, so do you, you have more animals at home besides this? Yes, I do. I got an Arabian horse that just had a baby in May. Her little baby's called Stormy. And I have a teenage... Arabian colt, that's also her baby. He's going to be 2 the 11th mm -hmm. of July. And I have a quarter horse mare that has a little baby as well. So you you started off here with a, a, a pet or two and kind of got out of hand. It kind huh? of did. <laughs> uh, do, do people go to your place to see your animals too? Quite often the school comes with the kindergarten children and things like that. But I also work for a petting zoo company. You do? Yeah. Oh, so you go out with, with, occasionally with your animals? Not with mine because my boss has tons of animals, so okay. usually mine stay home unless, you know, at Easter time or something he might need an extra one. Uh -huh. What about over here, the calf? That yours too? No, that belongs to one of the local farmers that oh. belongs to Vinamans, okay. Carol Vinamans. Vinamans, okay. Yeah. Well, so you'll be here all afternoon? Nice day. Oh, it's gorgeous. Did you plan this weather for, for this? I sure tried. <laughs> Last year it rained. This you didn't, year I was hoping. Yeah, I heard it rained. Like, you didn't get a chance to see the parade then, did you? No. Last year I rode one of my horses in the parade, but uh -huh. this year I decided with the babies being okay. that young that I better wait till next uh -huh. year. Well, all right. Well, good luck with your new baby, uh, quarter, quarter horse baby. And Arabian baby, uh, too. Ra ra okay. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. All right. How about that? A little Dixieland type of music. And very well done. The only problem is there's not enough people here enjoying this. Uh, so all you people watching this in northern New York, uh, remember this. Canada Day, first day of July, 1997. Come on down to Cla uh, Clarenceville. Just uh, 
across the border, any place, and uh, head uh, east on 202. You're bound to make it here. We moved around where you can see the ball game in, in uh, progress here, one of the softball tournament games. Uh, the bleachers here, you can tell maybe they have a good, uh, with lights, do a lot of softball playing here in this area, obviously. Talking to someone earlier who said they're in a hockey league and come down to Rouse's Point, know many er people in our area, um, and play hockey, enjoy themselves there. Uh, over here, the children are having fun with the uh, some of their uh, money games that they're jumping, mostly jumping or and or playing in the plastic buildings. We were looking for a lady by the name of Miss McCormick who lives in that house that we just saw. Uh, she lives in that house that they use for the movies for the Dion's. We were also told since we left there that they had built the, uh, the stage and whatever they used for the hospital and so forth where the kids were kept across the road from the house in behind where Calvin was, uh, where they, which they used for the shots of the hospital and the, all the cars, they, they set up a gas station, the whole thing right there uh, for the movie. So if you have the movie, you look it over again, you'll see a lot of the things that we have shown you on this video. And uh, this, vi this video, as well as any video that Calvin has taken over the years, including all what's going on here and, and many of the other things he does are $15. Uh, you can find your friends and your neighbors and many of the historical things. Many people asked about the 1990 Christmas show we did at the Legion. Yes, that's available. Ten people in that video that we talked with five and a half years ago are no longer with us. Uh, and uh, good mementos to have of the area. And I just thought it was a great, I had a great time that night. We talked to our nice local neighbors. So we're going to wrap it up here in Clarenceville, Quebec. On their, we came to their parade, we've talked to their people, we've seen their churches, we've had some of their pie. We've had all of their hospitality. We thank them for that again. Take a ride up 10 miles, give or take a mile, from Rouses Point on Route 202. Turn right at Cantic. You'll enjoy the scenery out here. You'll see the nice farms and the smiling people. And, and remember also, uh, Calvin needs a little support, continued support from those who have supported him in the past. Support from those who have never seen fit to send $12 or more. Hometown Cable, 1477 Ridge Road. Tell them Bob sent you and continue to watch all the shows, particularly, I would say, our show on Sunday where we, we travel around. Hope you enjoyed this something thing a little different from Canada. Yeah, Canada. Canada.